Welcome to the Power Options webinar for the Stock Repair Strategy Tool. This tool will help you view repairs for your stock if it has recently declined in value in an uncertain market. The tool will build potential credit and debit repairs for your stock, which will help you get back to break even with a smaller move in the underlying stock price. The credit and debit repairs are covered repairs, so you don't have to worry about any naked options or having to put an extra margin to cover the potential repair spread. This stock repair tool and this stock repair strategy only works if you have the sentiment that the stock is going to go back up in price after a recent decline. To access this tool from your Power Options account, Simply type in your stock symbol into the symbol field at the top of the page. For this example, we will use the stock DRYS, which is a dry bulk shipping company that is very volatile. Once I've entered in the symbol, I can simply click on Stock Repair Strategy or I can link directly to the quotes page which shows me all of the fundamental data on this stock and from here I can go directly to the stock repair strategy tool as well. For this example let's take a look at the stock chart for dry ships and over time we can see that this has been in a steady decline. For this example, let's say that on January 2nd, we bought shares of dry ships at the closing price of $78.11. The stock today is currently trading at $68.06, roughly a 10 point loss. So we want to know how can we get back to break even faster without waiting for the stock to move up 10 points in value. To do this, we will go back to the stock detail page. From here, let's click directly on the stock repair strategy tool. Once we enter the stock repair strategy tool, we will be prompted to enter in our symbol, which is already copied over for us. Our cost basis for the stock, which we're assuming in this example, was $78.11 from the closing price on January 2nd and let's just assume that we had purchased 1,000 shares of stock on that date. Now click the Submit button and the Stock Repair Strategy tool will look at all of the options available for dry ships and the various expiration months and attempt to calculate various repairs. The first table shows us the expiration month, the target month for the repair, the lowest stock cost, this is usually the current stock price today. If the stock drops further than that, the repair won't work. And the highest stock cost shows us where the repair strategy will reach its highest return value. This also shows us the two options that the tool attempted to use to build the repair. In this example, the first example, we see that was, we could buy the 65 and sell the 70. We've calculated a net credit of $4.20, which gives us a break-even point of around $69. In order to look at the actual repair, we simply need to click on the Repair Details button located on the right-hand side. When I click the Repair Details, it will take me to the repair that was built for my shares of dry ships that I purchased at 78.11. It shows us our total cost of $78,110 and the current price of $68.17 which we now have a net worth of $68,170 for a total loss on the stock of $9,940. The repair shows us that we can purchase 10 call contracts of the March 65 call for $9.60. At the same time, we're going to sell 20 contracts of the March 70 call for $6.90. This gives us a total net credit 
of $4.20 right now. For the repair, we have a break-even stock price of $69.46. This means that if dry ships moves up to $69.46 on March expiration, we will be back to break-even. We did not need the stock to go back up to $78.11, which was our original purchase price. We can get back to break-even with a much smaller move. Now, how does this work? In the grid below, you'll see the calculated results for the repair position if the stock was trading at a certain price on March expiration. The highlighted value is our break-even price. Here we see a stock price of $69.46. This would give us a total stock loss of $8.65 from our original purchase price of $78.11. However, our 10 long calls would be worth $4.46. And we still keep the $4.20 net credit that we received when we initially entered the repair strategy. This gives us a total value on the position of 78.12. Although we have the $8.65 loss on the stock, that's covered by the value of our long calls, the net credit we initially received, and the current value of our underlying shares, which would be worth $69.46. Here we see that we do not need as large of a move to help us get back to break even. Now you might be concerned that on this repair strategy, since we are buying 10 contracts and selling 20, that this means that we have 10 contracts of a short call that are naked and we would have to put margin up to enter into this trade. But remember, you still own 1,000 shares of dry ships at a cost basis of $78.11. What this repair strategy basically does is combine a covered call position, taking 1,000 shares of your stock combined with the 10 shares of the 20 you would sell, mixed with a bull call debit spread where we bought 10 of the March 65 calls and then the remaining 10 options would be covered by those 65 calls. So half of the short options are covered by your 1,000 shares, and the other half is covered by the 10 contracts that you purchased at the 65 strike. So there are no naked options on this repair strategy. This is a very useful tool to use in an uncertain market when you have stocks that have had a recent decline due to market conditions or sudden surprise, but you have a sentiment that the stock is going to continue to rise in the next month or two month period. Now, you may have noticed that when we initially entered our information for our stock, we had several different months where we could build repairs. Some of them had a higher net credit. For example, on the June 2008 repair with the 65 long call matched with the 70 short calls, we see that we could receive a net credit of $7.70. This doesn't necessarily mean that this is a better repair. You would want to evaluate each one by clicking the Repair Details button to evaluate which one works best for you. Remember that the repair strategy is based on the stock price being at or above the calculated break-even price on the expiration date, not before. It is possible that if the stock moves up, you could have a potential break-even price reached and have your cost basis equaled if the stock had moved up before the expiration date. But the values that you see on the stock repair strategy tool are based on the closing prices of the stock on the expiration date. Now, in some instances you may have a very large decline on your stock price. Let's say for example that we had purchased dry ships prior to the date of January 2nd, 2008, and for a higher cost value. 
let's say that our cost basis was actually ninety dollars so I will change my cost per share basis leave the number of shares and I'll click the submit button to recalculate potential repairs based on my stock price of ninety dollars here we can see that the stock repair strategy tool attempted to calculate repairs using the same options the 65 strike and the 70 strike for March and also in March the 65 and the 75 we still calculated a net credit for these positions but you notice how on many of these the break-even value is NA and the trade details are NA this means that even though a net credit could be received with this type of repair it's still not going to get you back to break even because your stock your original cost basis was too high from the current price however we see that further out repairs were able to be calculated again we have the June option using the 65 long call and the 80 short call for a net credit of a dollar ten with a break-even price of $76.95. We also have repairs for September, for January 2009, and for January 2010. Now remember, the value of the repair is based on the price of the stock at the expiration date. If you expected a move up in a further time period out to June or out to September then you would want to evaluate those repairs that are further out in time but remember the repair values the break-even values for the stock repair strategy are based on the expiration date in addition to the credit spreads potential debit repairs are also shown in these positions you'd actually pay a debit to get into the repair position rather than collecting a credit up front. The debit repairs will still help you get back to break even with a smaller move in the underlying stock price. And again, you would simply want to evaluate the repair details that could be calculated for the credit repair or for the debit repair to evaluate which one matches your risk reward tolerance and matches your sentiment of where you think the stock might be on the expiration date to help you get back to break even. If you have any questions regarding the stock repair strategy tool or how to sign up for a Power Options account, please feel free to contact us at any time. You can simply email us to support at poweropt.com. You can call our toll-free number at 877-992-7971 for those residents of the continental United States. Or you can call us at 302-992-7971 if you live outside of the continental United States. Contact links for the email and our toll-free support phone number are listed at the bottom of every Power Options page. Thank you for viewing this webinar on the Stock Repair Strategy Tool, which is a very useful tool to help you get back to break even on stocks in your portfolio that may have recently declined in value, but you still feel may rise in price in the short term. If you have any questions, once again, just feel free to contact us at any time.